All right, doll. Today's video is going to be on my Google Nexus 7, and we're going to install CM10 on here and check it out. It is a nightly, and I'm going to go through this and show you guys how to do it. So, first thing I did is I went into Goo Manager right here, and in here, it's kind of neat, you can go to Browse Compatible ROMs. And these is a whole list of ROMs that are compatible with the Nexus 7. It automatically finds them for you. And I went to CM, Grouper, Nightlies, and I up, or I should say I downloaded CM10, this top one here, from 924 Nightly. So that is downloaded. And I also downloaded, and we'll go into it, also downloaded the GGAPs for that build right there. So back all the way out of this, we can actually go to home. And I have a uh, twerp installed team win recovery project. And it is actually installed from inside of Goo Manager, actually. Let's see here. You can just go up here and right here, install open recovery script. And it'll install it for you. So once you have that installed, we're gonna go to reboot recovery. And you wanna hit yes. Um, so this is going to open Team Wim Recovery Project. Um, I already made a backup of my current uh, operating system, which is Codename Android, and so always do that first before you flash something new, just in case you need to restore it. So I've already done that, so we're just going to go ahead and go into Wipes, and we're going to do three of them. We're going to do um, Factory Reset, and we're going to Swipe to Wipe. And we're gonna let that go through its little process, which it did. Go back, we're gonna do cache, swipe to right, very good. Delvic, swipe to right, very good, okay. So that should be everything we need to wipe. And then from here, you're just gonna go back down there. You went, I went back with this button down here. And then we're gonna go to install and we're going to find what we want to install. So I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna go to Goo Manager folder. And there's my two files, my nightly and my GGAP. So we're gonna hit it and we're going to swipe to flash. So it's gonna go through the flash process here. It's installing update. Um, Twin Win Recovery Project is very, very fast. I like I actually love how fast it does backups and installs ROMs and Delvic and all that kind of stuff. It just cleans everything. It does it all very, very fast. So this should only take a second here. Oh, and there you go. You can already see it's done. Um, and then we're going to go back and we're going to hit our Jelly Bean gaps, G gaps, and we're going to swipe to flash those also. All right. Again, this shouldn't take too long. It's, it's a very fast process with this recovery. And all right, so now all we gotta do is hit reboot system right down here. And we should boot up with uh, CM10 Jelly Bean. And let's see, we'll go through it and kind of just get a quick uh, overview of the ROM. Ooh, now see, I like, I really like that. That's pretty cool. Uh, it has the new Kronjinmon boot animation in it, which I think is pretty neat. I always like seeing the boot animations. They do some cool stuff. Um, so this may take a little long to do because it has to redo the cache and the Delta cache. It has to re like draw all that. Um, so just be patient with it and let it have time to boot up. I may pause and come back if it takes too long. All right, it's come up to the start screen. So we're gonna go through this, the uh, setup process. My Wi-Fi. Okay, that should be the Wi-Fi authenticating. There we go. I'm not gonna set up my Gmail right this moment. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna set up that either yet. So go through these really quick. I'm um, not really care about that right now either. All right, good, finish setup. All right, so this is uh, CM10 and let's go through just some of the stuff that's in here. 
So here's your notification bar. Uh, pretty standard. I'm gonna end up this. I don't like this Crodgen mod static. Get rid of that. Okay. So here's your standard. You got your Wi-Fi, your Bluetooth, your GPS, and your sound, and your rotation lock on there, along with your uh, settings up here on top. So you can see that. Let's see what else it has on it. Um, let's see here. So those are your transitions. I don't know what kind of launcher it has. There's a couple applications. Um, let's see what comes with it. Okay. Um, doesn't look like all that much, really. Uh, let's see here. We got our Apollo music app. Um, what else is from them? Uh, DSP manager. That's in there. ROM manager is built into this as well, as long as your super user um, and terminal. Those are pretty much your, your added special stuff in there. Um, standard widgets. Uh, nothing too exciting there. Um, so let's go into settings and see what we have here. Start at the bottom, we'll go to tablet, about tablet I should say, and again we're on Jelly Bean and Nexus 7, you can see that also. Um, and you can see you're on CM, Crown Engine Mod here. So that's good. Let's see what uh, things we got. Performance. Let's see what we have under performance. Um, so we have governors. We can set our min max speeds, your governors. Set it boot if you want. Uh, let's go back there. We got your scheduler. Uh, memory management. ZRAM and allow purging of assets. Some settings in there. And let's go up here and see what we have. So launcher. We'll go to launcher. And we're running tre Trebuchet Launcher, and it's got its basis, its basic settings in there. Um, system. This is where your customization comes in. Uh, let's see what we got here. We got clock style, battery style. Um, I really like percentage, just because I want to know what I'm actually at. Um, signal style it doesn't matter right now. Show counts. Yeah, it's all good there. Um, you got your wallpapers. See if it comes with any Chronogen mod. No, those are just your standard wallpapers. Um, here we go, Chronogen mod wallpapers. There you go. You can have any of these if you want. There's a whole bunch of them on there, which is nice. I like those wallpapers. Uh, let's see what else we got. Power widgets, order, all that those kind of features. Got nav bar stuff you can uh, edit here and go through different things. That's pretty nice. Um, again, we got themes. This is just a standard theme, but we can uh, download more CM10 themes. So lock screen, backgrounds, clock alignment, battery status, owner information, weather calendar, and shortcuts. So shortcuts here, you can see we have five added spots on it. Sorry there, five added spots. You got your lock, your camera, and your Google Now, but you can add all these other ones in there. So let's see, we'll add one to the bottom here really quick. So what do I want to do, an application. Let's say I want to add super user, why not? So now you've got super user down there in the bottom on your lock screen. Otherwise, it's the same pretty much look as any of the other Jelly Bean ROMs. Um, again, it's very, very smooth. Definitely like that. Transition is kind of a tablet-y transition. You can kind of see it. There's like a line in there. That's kind of a tablet transition. Um, let's just go ahead and see what we got for like contacts. See, it has contacts, but we don't have, it's not a phone, so, but CM is just designed like that. Um, I wonder if camera will work on this or not. Oh, there you go. Camera does work. Front facing camera anyway. So, there you go. That's it, guys. That's CM10 on the uh, Nexus, ooh, Nexus 7. Sorry, guys. And uh, runs really nice. And that's the install for it, so check it out and see if you guys like it. Thanks.